Hello my dear friends, welcome to a new short technical video from Mad Max Deals and Reviews. I read people asking how to measure the current on the FW3A and this guide of course works for the FW21, uh, the 21700 version, it works with the FW1A, the single LED version and all the different materials like copper, stainless steel and titanium and of course it will work on the future designs, uh, oops I didn't say something. Um, yeah. Uh, the problem is we have a dual tube design, there is the outer tube, the body, which transports the main current from the negative to the driver. So we expect high current there. So you need, a, should use a clamp amp meter, something like this Unity, you can ask me for a code at disk, where to buy of course. And uh, if you use something like that, the usual um, multimeter, use very thick wires also and that's never as nice as something like that in terms of getting correct uh, measurements or near correct usable measurements let's tell it that way so uh, we have there is the second the inner tube which transports just the switch signal so what i do is uh, put my device to dc and then zero of course then i use this thick wire uh, on the negative pole with one finger and I use this hard wire with the insulation removed on a big portion to have it here on top. It's hard to make this on camera and you know being clumsy a bit something like that so you hold both with one finger then if you contact the second part to the threads it's like making the first contact you see maybe there is a short flash indicating the flashlight is now in standby but I tried to tap it with my thumb something like that and you see there is a little space here so I can use this this lever like a switch short switch is on another switch is off double tap is highest regulated mode which is 2.7 of course I can use it to dim up and dim down and if I do the double tap I do it short time because it want, didn't want to burn my hand whoops double 9.4 hot 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 so switch it off again so that's a real powerhouse and I think that's a nice way to measure then go first this negative part remove the switch and you're good to go so i think that's a good way to see, t try your own batteries to see battery a is better than a battery b or something like that so there is a lot of different versions with different leds so it maybe will be hard to see um, the difference from one model to the, uh, another and so on but it's a good way to see how your batteries work one battery might give a good turbo another does not and keep in mind the temperature regulate uh, turbo regulation of this is very good let's do it again hopefully i uh, take do not take one for you take one for the team and burn my hands uh, let's demonstrate that's a nice thing um going on and when you look on the numbers on turbo double tap for turbo so it's 9 amp now and now you see it's already it's getting hot because we had turbo on uh, before it tries to regulate around now it's dropping to 5 still heating up now it's dropping to 3.5 amps dropping to 2.5 so the regulation uh, for the heat is really good so one tap makes it off so that's that's an easy setup hopefully you can duplicate that and let me know how how you think about it and what do you with it so thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye